right now LinkedIn You're the perfect one for me You're the perfect one for me on March 30th, Snapchat ran a TV spot of 60 seconds on an NCAA basketball game. I want you guys to check out their commercial where they pitch themselves as a camera company rather than a social media company. Close, 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 close. Snapchat is a camera. No, not that kind of camera. It's this kind of camera. It's a camera that adds magic to your yard and makes early mornings a little more fun. It brings your best friend with you anywhere you go and comes with your very own mini-me. It's a camera with a map so you can travel the world on your morning commute. It can lead to adventure and help get you there. It's a camera for talking, because a snap says more than a text. So yeah, Snapchat is a camera, where how you feel matters more than how you look. Maybe Snapchat's right. Maybe they are a camera company. The behavior nowadays for a lot of people, including myself, is to use Snapchat's camera function to take pictures with filters and funny faces and augmented reality overlays and then download that video from Snapchat and re-upload it elsewhere. Snapchat doesn't really have liking, commenting, sharing, any of those traditional social media features. So maybe it is a camera company. But let's look in the data here. So I have uh, TalkWalker, which is a social, social listening platform that we can measure all of the mentions of Snapchat across the internet, including social media. So if you look at this graph here from the last... 30 days, we can see some spikes here for Snapchat results. This one here is not a good spike, by the way. This is when they had the controversy of the, the advertisement that was on Snapchat of Rihanna and Chris Brown's domestic violence. I won't get into that here, but this is a bad spike. If we look at you know the, the March 30th date, we don't really see a spike here. So this commercial, at least from what I can tell, did not cause any noticeable reaction uh, on the internet. Um, so let's dig a little deeper. Let's overlay Instagram's mentions online on top of Snapchat's and you can see share of voice difference in terms of the volume. It's very clear here that Instagram is dominating Snapchat online in terms of share of voice. At In the last 30 days they're at 85% share of voice and Snapchat's at a measly 15%. But then again, is it apples to apples? I'll leave that up for you to decide. But one thing that's really important to dig into is how those mentions are received by an audience. And the only way to do that is through sentiment analysis. So TalkWalker, who I've partnered with, has an incredible sentiment analysis area here where we can see, are people talking positively, negatively, or neutrally about your brand, your product, your service? And here it's easy to see that Snapchat is mostly being, in the last 30 days at least, uh, spoken about, conversed about online in a negative fashion. And Instagram seems to always be neutral or positive and very consistent, less up, ups and downs as Snapchat has. So uh, we can dig even a slightly deeper than that. If you look here on this graph, you can see that there's a lot of uh, different emotions. Looks like uh, Snapchat... Uh, it has you know some some negative emotions here in terms of sadness uh, and anger and disgust. That's probably to do with that Rihanna and Chris Brown thing. And then Instagram here has a lot of joy. Anyways, there's a lot of tools here in TalkWalker, but I wanted to show you some data points and rather just opinion and reaction emotion on my by myself. But I'd love to hear your feedback. Is Snapchat doomed? Um, or is this repositioning as a camera company going to ultimately save them? Comment below and, and let me know what you think. Uh, so steady with the flow. Live a fast life, put the pedal to the flow. Now we ride out. You want a sideline player, call the timeouts. I'm about to love it again, boy, you find out. When it's all said and done, I'ma do it up. Big kind of like dynamite, yeah, we blew it up.